When most people think about scrap mechanic on Steam, they just think about the workshop. But actually, there's a lot more on Steam. The discussions are mostly people just looking for other people to play with. Now, the screenshots are gonna be a lot more interesting. And I swear I clicked that button. Point of view, parking in Stockholm. This reminds me of the terrible road generation in scrap mechanic sometimes. But actually, you can see this is custom terrain. But I actually do wonder if the wheels are sticky enough to actually park a car at this angle. Looks like we have a beautiful picture of a map here. Like, that looks really nice. I wonder if the map is on the workshop. Oh, there's a link. This is definitely an underrated tile. Just 146 subscribers. Finding tiles in the world builder is just garbage. Yep, there's a tile in the distance and you can see the roof floating. So it looks like we have a lovely field over here. As well as some eggplants. I wonder when they finally add those to the game, to be honest. And actual cotton that we can pick up. That is kind of cool, honestly. I wonder if it regrows. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait five in-game days to see. And of course, some good old corn. There's also a little apiary. You can actually see the bees. Like, the level of detail on this map is insane. And since those are survival fences, I should be able to... Oh no, the bees! <laughs> but yeah, I think we can pretty much destroy every fence on this map. This could actually be really cool for, like, a war map. And you can destroy other buildings and stuff. Okay, so I assume that's a barn over here. Sadly, without any walks. And a lot of hay. I wonder if there's an easter egg or something. I'm just searching for the needle in the haystack. Imagine how cool it would be if those buildings were in survival and they were built like this. So you can fully destroy them and stuff. Alright, and lastly, here's a little farming house. And yeah, I think I need to just uh, open the door a little. Oh, it looks also like there's a basement. That's so cool. Does this count as a basement? Still, this is a really cool tile. I think I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So here we have a screenshot of someone rebuilding GLaDOS in Scrap Mechanic. And it looks really sick. Now, as this guy pointed out, it's kind of sus that he's still using the old version in 2022. Oh my god, look at those boats. These are so huge. I, I wonder how many FPS that guy has. And we can actually download the blueprints. Nice. Navy mechanic. They actually have weapons. Oh my god, just look at this gif. Wow, it's insane what some people can do with mods and stuff. Like, I would have a look at this, but I'm kind of too lazy to install all the mods. Oh! <laughs> so there's like these dirty loot boxes in the burnt forest, and somehow this burnt texture just got rendered on top of the box. This is a really lucky find. And here's another train tile with a train included, and it just looks so sick. Speaking of trains, it's like a freaking cannon. I would really like to know what kind of tile this is. Like all these buildings, I don't think I've seen this before. Oh my god! This is like what happens when you spam click your lift. Alright, so if I just fire up my trustworthy auto clicker, you can see some of the lifts not disappearing. And if I try to race one of them, it only works on one of them at a time. So this is actually not too hard to pull off, but you gotta appreciate the dedication of this guy placing down so many lifts at once. Like, this must have taken 10 minutes or so. Oh yes, seems legit. This is like your average scrap mechanic road generation. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Doesn't matter. Hey, look at that. I think that is a server. <laughs> this looks really sick. But this also reminds me that I can't afford a 3080. Oh my god, there's another humongous ship. Like, I wonder if they used the tool to generate the ship? But this is all in Russian. Scrap mechanic communism confirmed. What's wrong with this image? Like, it took me quite a while to realize, but he's actually reading it upside down. He's just reading it for the Australians. Wait, is this a bug or is this actually a legit thing in the game? At least in the first person animation, I'm holding the book correctly. I just took a screenshot in game and yes, the mechanic is reading the book upside down. So many bananas. Donkey Kong's jungle compressed and only bananas. Dude, I think that guy has a banana base over there. What happened to this guy? This looks so cursed. Oh my goodness. Another really epic looking warship scene. Like I'm so glad they finally added water to create it. Like it just took them how long? Well, speaking of that, there's also a news tab on Steam and well, there's been nothing for like half a year. Look at this guy's secret vault. Just hiding all those precious component kits. Everyone in a five mile radius approaches your location. <laughs> like imagine having actual survival service. Ooh, this is actually a winter mod for scrap mechanic. And they have a video of it in a horrible quality. <laughs> 480p. But I, I kind of like what they did with the snow and stuff. 
Dude, this actually looks really cool. Okay, I, I really want to try that out myself. We'll just need to download from the sketchy Google Drive link. And let's override my files. Oh my god, Scrap Mechanic loaded! Dude, this looks amazing! Like, just the title screen alone. Okay, oh let's join my survival build and see. But this is already so cool. Like, it's, it's literally cool. Because it's in the name, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, it is so bright. It's like Discord light theme. This is such an amazing mod. I, I can barely see my death bags in the snow, but I'm honestly a little mind blown by this. Why is nobody talking about this? Like even the flowers are retextured. Oh my god, this looks so sweet. Dude, this is amazing just for taking screenshots alone. Oh, he even changed these ad boards. Wow. wow. So much detail in this mod. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put a link to this in the description as well. Oh, oh I just triggered a farm bot. That's bad. Are the lakes frozen? Maybe that would be a little bit too much to ask. Globuck cuteness. World War 3! I think this is built near the survival spawn. But yeah, this looks really awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is using fan mod, I think. But still, it looks really impressive. Oh, there's also a video about this bot. I want to see this thing in action. Like, it actually freaking works. And that is really impressive. Wow, it can actually fight bots and stuff. Like, I really hope this is one day gonna be possible in vanilla survival. Because how awesome would it be to build your own battle bot to go into the warehouse or something? Oh my god, what have they done? I didn't know that crucifixion was a thing in Scrap Mechanic. That's evil, man. And of course, a nice shop for the cook bot. It's actually something a lot of Scrap Mechanic players do. And now there's also some artworks, which mostly consist of memes. You know, like a toilet is much better than a driver's seat. It's actually really cheap in survival. The legendary car in the world of expensive cars. But like this drawing is really good. Oh my god. Look at this birthday cake. That's incredible. Like even the logo and everything. And the farm bot. It's just really nice. Okay, these gifts for some reason take forever to load. Here's someone building a fully automatic weapon. Okay, it's not a machine gun, but still, this looks great. Oh, and we have actual coupling of TGVs. That is crazy. How do these connect? I can't tell from the GIF if this is using mods, but if this is vanilla, that's insane, because I'm not sure how to build this in vanilla. Programmers be like, launch Doom on the elevator in Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> like, I literally made the screen mod for Scrap Mechanic and I could just play Doom and play it at Scrap Mechanic that way. Like, I already kinda did it. Matt Farmbot. But this looks really cool. It would be so cool if there would be fog in this game. And if it's really foggy, the farm bots would just look like this. That would be really creepy, but also cool. Toadbot Factory 3. Oh, that's a really cool animation. And that's nice. nice concept art. Oh, it looks like someone made their own glowing Toadbot head. Like the community is quite crafty. Alpha Haybot concept. Shredding a sticky wheel. If you have a loose sticky wheel and you hit it with a hammer, does it A, move in the intended direction with increased tra traction, or B, stay where it is? It's probably gonna have a lot of friction, so it's probably just A. But I'm really interested to see how the mechanics work. Because in some of the in some of the death vlogs, cars literally driving up straight walls. So there's some kind of magic going on as well. It's like if people have to flex with their white monitors. And here we have a little Lego wiring tool. There's a lot of things people have built out of Lego over the years. Using pre-made meme templates. Making your own meme templates using love and Patient. Okay, so half of the comments are just people complaining about the spelling. But yeah, this is actually a nice, nice meme template. Oh, there's seven new comments. Oh, it's just mostly people spamming this in chat. Just please stop spamming these comments everywhere. Like it makes, I was just gonna say, it makes comment sections garbage. And here's just people spamming them. God, that's so ironic. <laughs> oh my God, that motorbike looks sick. A duck loop. I would give that seven out of 10 satisfyingness. And another one of these really atmospheric screenshots. Really makes me wish that they add fog to the game. Duct tape fixes everything. Oh, it's just a normal walk. How long did that take to simulate? It is like melting. When you die of cringe, be like. Oh, this is a really nice, nice. gift. I gotta um <coughs> borrow it. Ape bot. It's so stupid, but it kinda works. 
Well, no, this is something we can all relate to. I don't think I need to talk about broadcasts or videos, because um, it's kind of my own videos here. Well, guides are not too interesting either, but there's probably gonna be some funny reviews. This game is like a toast, spoken like a true poet. Spend two hours making stairs? Those are rookie numbers. Seriously, building this big staircase took quite a while. After reading through this entire review, I can really say this game is like toast. My creation turned on me and went broke. Would spend another three hours trying to get it back. <laughs> yeah, I think when you play Scrap Mechanic for the first time, that's exactly what happens. You build a creation, you put a thousand thrusters on it, because why not? And then it's gone. <laughs> well, I guess this is about as much content as I can squeeze out of this. So yeah, see you in the next one.